G'day everybody and welcome back to some more underground alone where I'm above ground and based with my defeated base that I shot up last time and my rover. So I've made a few tweaks since last week as has Nev to the Twitch integration. The tweaks to the server and the conditions that I'm under include I now have far more scarce resources. Uh, hopefully because hopefully I didn't stuff up making the mod to fix that. I have potentially more deadly enemies and enemies that also do consistently spawn. Because I've fixed all the things that I thought might have been wrong last time. Actually, you know what? To begin with, oh dear. Yeah, I'm going to go after this other base. Uh, I do still have ammo, right? Ooh, okay, maybe I have to drive home and get some more ammo and then come back out and get rid of this other base. So, all of my ore locations... Why are my wheels so soft? All of my ore locations have changed. So, I got rid of all of the markers that I had for them because they are no longer... Oh. Something is very wrong with that front right wheel. Anytime I turn in... Oh, don't like these short, <laughs> short suspensions. Don't work very well. Um, I've also added a command in... Why does it say my handbrake was on? Oh, yeah. I've also added a command in chat so you guys can see what the deal is with the Twitch integration. Just type exclamation SE Twitch and it'll show it. I am going to need to use the regular wheels. This is very broken. Oh, man. Also, I don't remember how I got up here. <laughs> yeah, there. I'm getting a few too many endos. I'm not not a fan. Not a fan. Oh dear. Yes, I, the resource changes have fixed it being King Midas's <laughs> vacation uh, planet. That ha that is part of what is fixed. What is fixed. So I'm going to have to scout out for new resources. I'm going to have to use the seismic detector and get out there and actually hunt down some stuff. Which also means that I'll be traveling across the surface more, which is exactly what's desired. Because that means when you guys choose stuff to spawn in with the chat polls, I'm more likely to be on the surface and interacting with it. Okay. Just on a slightly better surface now make some distance back home. I might head for that unknown signal first if I can get it get to it before it explodes. Ah, but <laughs> thank you Awesome Tommaso for the 26 months. Thank you Dr. J Tubbington for the prime sub. Thanks mostly AWOL also for the prime sub. Thank you Taz. Thank you for almost two years of tier three. Thank you so much. Um. Ah, thank you, more bro, for the thousand bits. Thank you very much. Thanks, Blobby, gonna get you. Oh, first tree for the stream. Should not read chat and drive. Thanks, Blobby, gonna get you for eight months. Oh dear! No, 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 no. Let's go around the edge of this. That looked very steep. I do want to go down. Yes, I do. Oh dear. Okay. Ah! Oh no, you guys got a Raider pod straight away. What are you doing to me? Um. Okay, I'm gonna go down this bit. And let's see if we can kill these robots. Or if I'm gonna run out of. What? Whoa! -ho! Whoa! -ho! Ho! Ho! There are three of them. That's bad. Damage is turned off. That's even worse. I had to turn damage off for some testing, apparently. There we go. Ah! I 
can't run because I can't steer. Uh, do I try and take those guys out or do I... If there are three pods, that means there are 12 bots out there. And I currently have no ammo. No, I'm not going to hang around. I also just shot my own turret. With my last bullet. Wow. Oh, I am hating these wheels right now. <laughs> what is going on? Also, now I can't see. Thanks, Gore. Thank you for 10 months. Uh, okay. Alright, get to one of these entrances before I crash this thing and waste all my resources. So those bots, I don't know if they despawn or if they're just going to be there and that's going to be a nice little surprise for me to run across when I try and drive around later. You tell the guns to fire, was this what you meant? Uh... uh Big Roland, this endoing has nothing to do with my gyros whatsoever. It is entirely due to my wheels catching and causing me to instantly stop. Because it only happens when I turn. Uh, which is a an issue with the short suspensions, I'm fairly confident. Thanks, Meagles Deck. Thank you for the tier 2 for 38 months. Thank you very much. Uh, they're catching themselves slash the armor at the side of the vehicle. Because uh, wheels are not cylinders. They are spheres. They look like cylinders, but they act like spheres. Because they are spheres. They're just hidden spheres. Okay, we're back inside, underground, and you might notice the voxels are completely reset because that's what I decided to do when I uh, reset where all the things are. Now, I'm going to grind off this drill so that this thing drives potentially okay, although this, oh no, this one's got the proper old school wheels, it should be okay. Yeah, Adarin, and that is exactly why you can jump on wheels from the side. Uh, because they are spheres. So you're climbing up the side of a sphere. Doesn't matter what angle you approach the wheels from, as long as... Oh, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There may also be some issues with me having reset the voxels. Oh no, this one seems okay. Alright, uh, I'm going to put a light on this because I didn't do that last time. I do have the resources to it. So it might be nice. Hey! Yeah, we got a nice thing from chat this time. Let's go see what it is. And then I have to go scout out some resources. And still got my, yep, still got my detector on the back. Okay, since the chat drop is this way, I'm going this way. Thanks, Dreadon Marks. Thank you so much for two years. Hello. And thank you, Ratfink, for lucky 13 months. Oh, right, of course. The, the offering emotional support may not actually be nice. It may be cheeky. Or mean. We'll find out.
Thank you, Altered Bulb. Thank you for nine months. And thank you, Team and Moy. For 15 months. Okay, what do we got? Is this thing gonna roll? Fly? Explode? Or eject? <sighs> I thought I heard a timer. <laughs> yep. Hey, it's still some resources, so I'll take it. Because I'm now going to go out and find Cobalt. I've got to find... Uh, magnesium again. Cobalt and magnesium are really the ones I need to find because I could get by with ev for everything else with just stone. But I'll I'll try and find the cobalt and magnesium first. Hopefully I'll find iron in the in that process. Because hand mined iron is a lot better. Oh, I also just thought. My little um, cargo carrier truck is out and about. I didn't park it back at base. I need to bring it back inside. Hmm. Uh, one of the reasons you probably won't see any of these drops just raining armed warheads uh, is the considerable voxel damage involved with such thing. It doesn't tend to be the best way to go about uh, keeping a game functional. Right, let's lock. Let's scan. And as you can see, there are far fewer ore deposits for me to find. Uh, let's see what we've got. Let's rotate left and see what this one right nearby is. Okay, so we have iron and silicon. Iron and silicon in those two deposits. What else do we got? Cobalt. Okay. One of these two deposits has cobalt. Let's see which one. Um, let's unlock. And retract the piston. And then attempt to safely drive towards it. Uh, Dells, I started about 10 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago, something like that. Yeah, somewhere up in this mountain. My auto detector on. Yep. Why am I not seeing anything? How deep is it? Okay, I don't see anything yet. I do see another rated drop pod. I think it's just one this time. I might be able to take him on. Uh, might just drive back over to where my other little rover is. I'll try and take him on foot. Ooh. Okay. 
Where are you, jerks? Oh no! I've lost where the pod landed. No, 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 no. Thanks, Misfits. Thank you for two months. Whoa! Okay. Hearing gunfire. Ow. Ow. Okay. They do hit regularly, but they don't hurt that much. Oh, my God. oh. Cinematic rifle. Why have I got the cinematic rifle? Ow. I know why I'm carrying the cinematic rifle. It's because it's actually um, what they're armed with, so it makes it easier. It means I've always got ammo. Uh, where was the other body? That looted. Gotta make sure I pick up what little magnesium I can from these guys. There's a fourth one around here somewhere. Where is it? Serpentine! Yeah. Yeah, get up and close. Yeah. Ow. Uh. What? Why have I got connection problems? That doesn't make any sense. Hello? Hello? Game? Oh, I think the server has crashed. Alright. Since it says it is creating a mini dump, I would say so. Well, that's not a great start. <laughs> Hello, Torch. Do you mind crashing completely so I can restart you? Come on. All right, I'm just going to end you. I'm going to end you. You won't end yourself. There we go. wonder how far this is going to send me back. Am I going to have to fight these guys again? Uh, yeah, Nev, it does worry me as well that it happened the second the poll started, but I'm glad you're here in chat, if, since that's the case. <laughs> uh, Nev, is it possible that it crashed when it was trying to create a poll when there was already a poll? Because I've got both redemptions for polls and timer for poll. Would that be an issue? Anyway, let's back up. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah, Nev, uh, kick me off the server. Go for it.
Hey, Buck. Alright, uh, I guess I'm fighting these dudes if they're still there. They may not carry over, I'm not sure. I'm not getting shot at. Oh, that means I lost all that loot. It's his reply to chat questions about 10 seconds before the chat line loads for me. It's like listening to someone with precognition. <laughs> AI enabled crash. Yeah, that sounds about right. We probably had too many... Too many guys present. It's the same problem with... Uh, that we were running into with using it on... Um, assertive acquisitions. AI enabled is great, but... Yeesh. It's not. It's still not as especially stable. I think it crashed on me opening up the inventory of one of the bots. It seemed like. Uh, okay, we need to scan again because the scans reset when you restart the game. Okay, so I'm still getting cobalt detected, so let's, again, continue on that path. I hope that my scanner can actually find... My regular auto detector can actually find this. It's possible... Possible... That the ore could be very, very deep. I hope that's not the case. It's not supposed to be, but it is possible. Aha! I'm detecting iron. Yes. Okay. I'm over a. I am over the. They're there. The deposit is over there. Good. Um, Catfish, the reason I don't use range extender mods for ore detectors is mostly comes down to perfor performance. Um, and that the seismic detector and, um, radio spectrometry mods are much more interesting mecha mechanistically as mods for improving the ease with which you can find ores. Right, I'm gonna dig down and then we'll mark this. I'm gonna get the cobalt first, so I'll just dig through the iron. That iron is really surface, so there may not be much of it. Hopefully enough to get started. Once we got cobalt, then I need to get magnesium. And then... Then it's all about trying to get some weapons up around my base so I've got somewhere to run back toward. Um, well, I like the silliness of having to figure out how to get a large ore detector onto a small grid vehicle. Like, it, it's it's an added challenge. It's an engineering task. That's why I kind of like it. 
And that's also why I like um, Drago's mods for how for um, scanning asteroids and scanning planets. Because they there's still some challenge to it. It's not just driving around with something that's got massive reach. But that's my personal preference. That's not a you know. If that's not what you want to do, then it's single. It's like primarily a single player game. Just do whatever you want to do. Still another 50 meters to go. Yeah, this Cobalt is very deep. Um, so I've got the configurable ores mod being used to uh, control where the ores can be found. And how many deposits of what types are on the planet and that sort of thing. And one of the things that it does is by default, it sets the deposits to be found at no deeper than what the ore detector can reach. And so there will be deposits that are at the max range of a large grid ore detector. Uh, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure this cobalt fits. Hey, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Whammo. Uh, that will almost certainly have been a uh, pod that you guys dropped. Because the raining ones explode before they hit the ground. So, I don't know what's just fallen down above me, but I don't know I'm going to be able to find out either. Can I get some iron before I leave here? Oh, it's a very thin iron vein. Also, that's awkward. I am not going to continue chasing those! And... Q, people suggesting I use the auto or pickup mod, but... <laughs> I'm so used to, after this many years, I'm so used to having to think about that stuff. So I just don't even, it doesn't even register to me that it's a problem that I might have, might want something to deal with. So it doesn't bother me at all. Okay. I'll take this stuff back. Let it get refined while I go and hunt for magnesium. Because iron and cobalt are all well and good, but without magnesium, there's not a lot I can do. Just trying to balance the load a bit. Okay. Yes. F-E. Cobalt. Thanks, Sam. Alright. Oh, back to go. Oh no, that's a drone, that's a drone, that's a bad drone. Ah, uh, where's my nearest entrance? I hear shoots ding. Oh no, it's shooting my other rover! Other rover, your sacrifice will not be in vain! Which 
charge. Get to the base. Get to the base. Get to the base. Get to the base. Oh, that's not what I want to hear. Okay. This should be safe about here. Let's go out and see if I can rescue the rover. See if it's still drivable. The new mid shield is now a rover. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I want to hear. Now, is, is anything left? Oh, boy. Uh, there's a chunk of ore of some sort. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's not going to be drivable. What ore is that? Iron. Uh, Inventory full. Some of that. Yes, I will just try and recover what I can from the wreck. And hope the drone doesn't shoot me. Or should I leave the wreck there as a decoy? Probably won't be very useful as a decoy if it's already completely shot up. Come on, sure. Undecided. That's why you never leave your toys outside. Truth. Truth. I may be able to make a flying or scouting thing. But I do need the large ore detector, so that adds a degree of complexity to that. Uh, do I keep... I'll get this stuff out. Oh, it's going to take so long to run out there. I think I'll just... Um, grab what I can. Grab all the stuff out of here. Start to being processed and we'll come up with something that can fly that I can use as a scout because I think the rovers are going to be um, very difficult to move around now that there are bad guys out there. Walk into the wrong rover. I wonder if I can shoot that down actually. Ooh. Might be able to shoot it down. I've got enough. I got a few rounds. I'll give it a go. Oh, it's a music one. Actually, that's got magnesium in it. That's not too bad. The music's annoying though. Wait, is it just going around just shooting up all of the thing? All of the. As you recoil. I'm not sure this is even within range of my rifle. Oh, I hit it. Once. I like maybe I did forget to put the traces mod on. Okay, the dancing dinosaur ore is almost in time with the beat on my end that you guys have been putting in, that you guys have put in chat. Uh oh. Ow. Uh, there is fire on board these drones, so I put exhausts on these drones that shoot out fire so that I can see them better at night. Ah! Throwing shot at me. 
Well, shot at this anyway. Not liking me getting closer. No, I'm never gonna take this. <laughs> I'll be able to take this like this. And it'll almost certainly slam into me and kill me. Although, I can now. F I could fly over to my wreck and see what's left of it. And grab this iron. Inventory full. use my jetpack to quickly grab a few more bits. Inventory oh man, full. there's a lot of iron in that. Yeah, so one of the things that I do want to attempt here is some sort of uh, missile system because I think having like, especially if I don't ever, if I don't manage to find magnesium easily. Um, I'm going to need something that can shoot down these drones. So hopefully I'll be able to make like a wham -o, a wham and lamp scripted missile. Inventory full. Oh boy. I do want to get all these bits back. As it has killed the grid, it is no longer a decoy. How many times through this cavern is it going to take before I hit the walls and go splat? And how much magnesium do I have left from last week as well? So I've got a bit left. I should have maybe the ability to make a few more cases of ammunition. And... Maybe make some sort of scouting rover that's actually got guns? Hmm. Maybe. Might be able to do that. Although then it would be only small grid ore detector. Inventory. Okay. I need to take out this drone. That's the key. I need to repair my gun gun rover and come out and take it out. But that means I need to upgrade the wheels to bigger wheels that are not going to get caught all the time. Because those wheels keep getting stuck. Put an interior turret. I could put an interior turret on top of the ore detector, actually. <laughs> that could work. I don't know how effective it'd be, because they don't do a lot of damage. But it could do some. Alright. But I think I'm going to fix this thing up and make it a bit more functional. So, first thing I need to do is grab the stuff for a piston. Listen to the Gatling fire. Going on outside. Uh, I'll probably, if I'm going to extend the wheels out, I need to extend the wheel base as well. Because this will be very, very short and wide if I don't. Uh... Oh, I just use a regular one. Okay, 
stand you out. We'll get rid of all these wheels. Replace them with the regular ones and then see how much longer I need to make the wheelbase to make it so that it's not very, very short and very, very wide. Because otherwise, I am going to um, constantly flip over forward and backward. there. Should just be able to add an extra row at the back. And it'll be fine. I'll extend this out. Far enough. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. That'll be plenty. Should stop me from doing endos and stoppies constantly, or at least reduce the risk of them. Space the turrets out more? No, a longer vehicle means I can fit more turrets. That's how this goes, right? Uh, I'm also going to need to make this less flimsy than just a few beam blocks holding it together. It's a nice warming Gatling fire. I don't know what else you could have wanted. Energy low. Uh <laughs> You know there are assault cannon turrets in small grid, Neverman. I don't have to put a rotor down to do that. I mean, I, you can. You don't need to, but you could. Uh, what am I needing? Let's repair the fire. And check if I do have the ability to make some more ammunition. Sorry. Magnesium. How much do I have? 42. Nice. Make those. Oh, it's two per. Alright, I'll make 20. Alright, uh, next thing I was going to do with this. Let's weld up the wheels. Oh, I think the drone may have crashed. That's good. The drones have got super powerful thrusters for their size, so they should... They shouldn't crash much, but I am near a mountain, and that's kind of where autopilots seem to struggle. Or it ran out of power. I can't remember which. Oh, there is a support package up there. I'll have to go get that once I get this ready. Energy critical. Yeah, rockets needing uranium is an annoying limitation. I was I did contemplate um, adding 
something to change that requirement so that I could use rockets in this. And same with artillery. Yes. I can't remember whether I ended up leaving uranium on the planet or not. Whether I got rid of uranium and... I think I got rid of it. No energy. Oh. That's inconvenient. Probably shouldn't have placed the survival kit this way. <laughs> to block it by the assembler. <laughs> Oops. Thanks, Thanos Mortis. Thank you for the Prime Sub. And thank you, Misfits, for the two months. I think that happened while I was dealing with the crash. And thank you, Nils, for the Prime Sub. Thanks, Rhinestone Cowboy. Thank you for the Prime Sub as well. Well, I didn't goof with the Survival Kit. I'm more goofed with the placement of the Industrial Assembler that completely blocks the Survival Kit. Um, can confirm it spawns me above the survival kit. Uh, because every time I re seem to restart the server after it's been down, like after I've tested and stuff on it, I seem to be dead. For some reason, it's kind of like it's doing a new fresh start. So I keep losing my, um, I keep having to respawn myself and I respawned there and it all seemed okay. Get a little bit of extra armor on here. Thank you so much, Orsa. Thank you for the five gift subs. How's it going? Grind those off. Yeah, Nev, it's weird that it's deleting offline players when I shut the server... When I... Well, when I keep shutting the server down as soon as I, um... Stop playing on it. That's one of the weird parts about it. Uh, but... Now, I was thinking what I'd do with this is pop some medium cargoes in here. Maybe another battery. Because it probably wouldn't hurt to have some amount of cargo capacity in this thing, as well as some extra battery power. We go battery, then we go now cargo container. If I place this in the right way, I should be able to get it connecting up to my turret that I place on top for a third turret. Even though a third turret is almost certainly going to just get shot, by it means the middle one's just going to get shot. If I do that, then I can place a conveyor converter on here this. And then the turret goes straight on top, and then the turrets are piped. Hooray! What I'm thinking is, if I stop all but one of these from shooting um, people... So I turn shooting characters off for you. Just leave it on for the front one. That should prevent these guys from shooting each other much. Or at all, hopefully. Because the main reason they're going to shoot each other is when there's something low to the ground that they're shooting at. And the only thing that I shoot at that's low to the ground are the bots.
Because everything drone-wise is going to be above me, so the chances of them shooting each other are substantially reduced. Am I out of nickel? I am out of nickel. No! I gotta go find some nickel. Alright. There's no drone out there. This is the time to go scouting. So let's go. Alright, so nickel. Let's find some nickel. Hello. Scanner, move. No? You're not going to move? Alright, fine. Um... Oh, right, I think I have to be on the ground to do that. Uh, park, extend. This should set up the maximal extension of this so that it, <laughs> it just cleanly locks on the ground. Alright, see if I can find magnesium or nickel. That would be silicon. That would be nickel. Nickel? Yeah, that's nickel. Alright. Well, that was easy. Head to the nickel. Yes, that is a Charlie you could hear walking around in the background. I think she was being a distraction to Toby. <laughs> so has been uh, put outside and now she's like, fine, I'll go sit with him then. Don't understand the dots, dashes and graphs. So on the left we have something akin to a radar image where it detects where there are ore deposits on the map. So I can use the little scan slice of pie to pick which ore deposits I'm looking at to see which ones, ones of them might contain something I'm looking for. And it looks like that nickel is up in the mountain, so I'm going to scan for a different one. So I'm not going to be able to find it with any ease. Uh, on the middle screen is something that's familiar to me because of chemistry, uh, which is effectively something like a spectrograph. The spectrum, the spectra that you're looking for need to line up with... Oh, I didn't lock. So you're looking for where the big spikes line up with the dots below, because the dots below indicate what you're finding. So... In this case, we have iron, because we've got a big spike here, lines up with iron. Big spike here, lines up with iron. Big spike here, lines up with iron. We also have silicon, the small spike, small spike, small spike, and it lined up with silicon, which is here. That's how it works. This is a little bit of mini-game to it, which I like. Now, let's see if we can find nickel. That's nickel as well. All right. Was there nickel where my cobalt was? Huh. It might have been. There may have been... Oh, sleep. Uh, in space, you use a different, a slightly different system, which means you have to look at with the ore detector, point it at an asteroid, and it'll just just show you the spectra of what's in that asteroid. And so you can scan around at anything in visual range. But then once you get close, you still have to use your regular ore detector to find exactly what's there, like exactly where it is.
is the same ore deposit. Okay, so there should be... Uh oh I have made a bad turn. How am I going to get... Back from here? Oh, that was actually easy. Um... It is the same deposit, so there should be nickel here, but I didn't notice nickel before. I wasn't looking for it, but I didn't notice it. Cobalt, iron. Ice, iron, iron. Hello, Nickel. Nickel? Come on. Ow. I really hope I don't flip my Abomination of a Rover. It's it's really quite handy having a large ore detector. My wheels might be a little overpowered. Okay, it there should be nickel here, but I can't detect it. If I can't detect it, I don't really want to just go drilling and hoping, because that seems like a big waste of time. Uh, so I might go looking for another deposit and see if there's another deposit that has it. That is the sun flashing through the planet, yes. Uh, that's a pretty common space engineers thing. It does that. Alright. Oh, nope. Scan. Okay, let's move to... Oh, this is actually a really bad place to scan. Don't scan on top of a deposit. Move, especially a deposit that says it's got what you want. A really good way to get a really confusing readout. I might go check that crate before I move on. Unlikely to spot anything with my drill, but I figure why not? What do you have for me, little box? Slightly oversized box, I should say. Some silicon! That would be nice if it was nickel. I think, um, I think I might have enough of the radio communication components that I can break them down for some nickel. That might be something I can do when I get back. I really do need to find nickel and cobalt. Nickel and magnesium. Okay. Uh, drive a little bit further away from this deposit so I can actually scan things. I haven't figured out a way to get the crates infested with spiders. <laughs> I'm sure it... I think it's possible. 
I haven't figured out. Okay, so that's apparently nickel as well. The deposit in front of me. All right. Let's go. See if I can find some nickel. While also getting uncomfortably close to that base. Which is not going to leave me much warning if it falls in a drone. Oh, that's a bit sharp. Uh, is there another way? Oh, speaking of, it's called in a drone. Arrgh. That's so annoying. I needed this nickel so that I could finish building my combat thing. Oh, it's getting close. Oh, it's getting close. I need speed. Speed, 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 speed. Please, no trees. Please, no trees. Oh, all rolling. only 500 meters behind me. That is uncomfortably close. Okay. Safe. Yes. Alright. <laughs> it looks like I might have got the difficulty level to where I wanted it. For the purposes of the stream. Because <laughs> I'm not getting long out there. I'm getting long enough to do something, but not long enough to do everything that I want to do. Which is about right, I think. Okay, so what have we got? We got 12 of those. Let's break them down and see if I can get me enough for the, for the power cells. Whoa! Okay. Something has rockets. That was very much rocket fire, I heard. Uh, that means I need to get this thing up there and shooting that down soon. Otherwise, it's going to drill through to me. And nowhere near enough nickel. Okay. Is there anything else I've got that's got nickel in it? No. No, there is not. Okay, alright. Goes up as is then. Uh, yeah, we can just leave that there to get shot out. That's fine. Just weld up this back end bit. Might reduce the chance that I'm going to have the back wheel shot off. Thank you, NCC! Thank you, NCC Hero, for the and gift subs for 190 dang man thank you so much true I wonder I did have a few extra detective components didn't I because of the sensors I keep grinding down uh, six of them don't think it's going to be enough but hey it starts the process oh actually it might be enough there's quite a lot of nickel in them Ooh, it actually is enough. Excellent. Nice. Good spot. Uh, 
Uh, I do not have a mod list for this save because this save has a whole lot of mods that are not public. There's not much point in you having a list of mods that you can't actually <laughs> access. Because I've got a whole lot of things that are set up specifically for use with the Twitch integration and not much else. Yeah, I don't really want to have to go deeper. It's hard enough getting in here as it is. Uh, but now that I've got those bits, I think I should be able to finish off this extra turret. Maybe. So I don't have the grids. Now I'm not going to be able to make the grids. Oh. Alright. We'll just stop there. We're going to go shoot this thing. Turn steering off on the middle. Turn steering off on the middle. Going too far. Turn braking off on the front. And reduce steering on the back. Ammo, let's go. Let's see if we can shoot this thing down. Oh, right, I need the, needed the better assembler to break down the um, explosives. I remember now. Okay, got ammo. Let's go. Very dim driving this thing. There we go. Oh, taking fire. Instantly taking fire. Why is only one of my turrets shooting? Oh, there's another drone inbound. He's only one of my turrets shooting. You low. Hmm. Fuel critical. Oh, hang on. Is one of them set to target weapons? And one of them set to target everything. No, they're both set to target weapons. Weird. Okay, let's take out this other drone. We've shot down one. See if I can take out both. Thanks, Bezreal. Thank you for a year and a half. <laughs> yes, getting old does suck, but the alternative sucks more. let myself get hit by that. Think. Ooh! What the... Did I shoot it down? Nope. What is shooting back? Okay, since the... I think it's this one. Yep, this one. Since it's not shooting anyway. Oh, 
Oh, I hate the flash. Oh, that has to have hit the ground. Yes, it did. Whoa. Okay. Drones? Dealt with. For now. actually been to? Yep. It's a nice bunch of locks missing from the top row. What about you? Oh yeah. I'm gonna need to clear those up at some point. Uh, there are no drone parts left. No, that, that exploded and would have left nothing uh, collectible. Uh, I made I made the drones explode with quite a significant explosion <laughs> that uh, is bigger than the one I use for ACS and so should not leave any parts remaining at all. Because the drones are meant to be just something of an attrition force, if nothing else. Okay. So, we have a functioning combat rover, even if only one of the turrets Fuel functions. Critical. Which is weird. Uh, I need to get back out there and get scanning again, now that there's no one out there who's going to shoot me. Let's see if I can get back to where that nickel was supposed to be. Still on my scanner, good. You guys called in another base, didn't you? Right. Well, I know. I know what I've got to do once I can find all the resources that I need. I'm going to go out there and clear them all. Okay. Out this way. Round to my left. Follow things down and get over to the right hand side of the valley towards that twist over there. Yeah, the ACS drones intentionally leave very little behind. They're smaller drones than what are in this, though, so I needed a bigger explosion in this. <laughs> the drones in the drones in this have a bit of a larger footprint. Uh, to fit the extra weapons. Some of the drones... I think I got lucky with the ones that were just going past then. Some of the drones that I will face... Ah, trees everywhere. Uh, do have turrets. So my turrets won't have perfect um, defense against those ones. It's going to be fun. It'll be great. Well, let's go up here. This might make it a bit easier. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Seriously? Ah, drone inbound straight away. Ah, I can't risk it. This is my only auto detector. They cost so much nickel to replace. I don't want a stone mine. I want to mine ores. I need to be quicker at getting back out after clearing the skies. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 
Oh, there's another drone in. Oh, great. Okay. This guy's come out straight away. Also, once I get nickel and once I get magnesium, put turrets on the ground above my base. And then, if that ends up being too powerful, make the drones worse between each session. <laughs> so that I can't just have perfect defense. Because that's boring. No one wants that. Okay, uh, let's um, turn you off and turn you on again and see if that means the turret starts shooting this time. Oops. Oops, if I drive down the cave. Fidget hasn't gotten here yet, but it is closing. I think. Oh! Okay, this time the back turret's firing. Oh, both are. Woo! Jeez! That, I think, was an assault cannon! What did that hit? Ow! Oh, it took out its heart! Okay, ow. Much ow. All the ow. Stop! Sheesh! Oh. Okay. What the heck? Um... Ow? Much owl. Many owls. Shot my wheel. that's been shot up that I need to repair. That was very unpleasant. Yeah, getting stuck in the entryway was a bit awkward. Um. <laughs> At some point... Actually, you know what? I don't think I will allow myself to have a bigger passageway, because if I do that, then I can have a bigger vehicle and it makes it more of an advantage to me. I'm going to go out this way and see if I get a better shot on it going this way. See if I can get moving faster. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, at least one of the drones up there has a defense controller on it, so it has full range turrets. That might be what I'm facing right now. It might be shooting me with an assault cannon turret rather than an assault cannon, which might be why it's so accurate.
Shoot him while they're distracted. Shoot him while they're distracted. Here's the turret. Are you out of ammo? What's going on? Nope. I shot myself in the face. Hello. I'm just going to hang here and see if I can... Shoot him. Get a little bit closer. Just outside of turret range. Oh, another one! Oh! This is definitely a situation for Serpentine! Ow! <laughs> Ow! No, my turret! Oh, no! Oh, no! That's steep. Oh, oh no! They shot my gyro! I don't have a gyro! I don't have a gyro! <laughs> Where's the entry? Oh. Is that the entrance? That's the entrance back there. Yee! This is a lot harder without a gyro! Driving fast is a lot more difficult. <laughs> okay. Um. All right then. Fine. I will drill stone. If you're gonna be like that. Jeez. Thanks for the prime sub, silly string. <laughs> you catch it a bad time. You can come back. Uh, no, this is, this was intention, it, arguably intentional, um, although I was hoping I would have found all the different ore types by this stage where I'm properly pinned down, but we'll figure it out, we'll figure out a way to get out and deal with those guys. Uh, I have an, an idea, it's probably not a good one, but it's an idea, let's get, so, let's get a drill rig set up. Got a decent amount of clearance from this port to the edge of the cavern, so I think that's a good place to start. Because I need resources if I'm going to do anything here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to. I am not going to tunnel to any ores. Um, while yes, it would be an effective solution to my problem and my predicament, and it would get you to get me to the ores, I don't think any of us want to see me tunnel for several kilometers and drive along tunnels for several kilometers when there's potential fun combat on the surface. Actually, should I do hinge first or piston first? I go hinge first.
Like, I may well end up trying to solve this with a variety of things, but the first idea that comes to mind is Kamikaze Drone. Doesn't require ammunition, or I could put a single Gatling on it or something like that so I can try and shoot them down before they shoot me down. Uh, but yeah, I think something like that might be the way to go. Uh, the trouble with the I, the trouble I can see with trying to use the missile script right now is that I don't have an ability to get on the surface and get a lock on these drones without getting shot up by these drones. So I kind of feel like um, I might be better off not using that method first. Just put another piston in there and still fit the drill. Can. But then I won't be able to swing so far to the side, so let's just do this one first. And I know I should probably use a small grid drill, but it should be fine. I've got enough iron. Kamikaze drill drone. Put a drill on the front of it and smash into them with the drill. I might even survive then. <laughs> Thanks a lot of bits, Elemental. got here that's got nickel in it that I can break down. How much nickel do you take? Uh-oh. Okay, we are a bit time limited here. There's that too. That sounds like rockets, which means they're back to drilling. Oh, no, those sound like still assault or artillery. But it should be assault because they're small group. I'm going to have to hand mine a bit just to get these motors built. Oh no, I'll steal them from the rovers. Where can I get three motors from? One motor. Two more motors. Steal them. Yeah, I'll just steal them from some wheels. Um... You're not going to be go going outside anytime soon. Oh, that would be why. The server might have crashed again. Touch encountered a fatal error and needs to close. wonder if that was AI enabled again. In which case, I probably have to ditch it and ditch the bots, which is sad. But, you know, how it goes. That's why I ended up getting rid of them in Wrong Way Up, because they were causing a lot of crashes. I don't think assault cannons deform voxels like rockets do, so they're okay. Lowen, I think sandworms need to have AI enabled, unfortunately. Because I think they use it for pathing. Uh, which means if I can't have AI enabled, I can't have any of the creature things, as I understand it. I could be wrong there, but I think that's the case. These attack drones are a custom mod built just for this series. Oh well, you know. Learning. Learning what not what doesn't work. 
So the stuff that will work with it without AI enabled are the drones. The drones will still work, the bases will still work, all of the usual MES stuff will still work, just nothing that moves around like a character. Oh, what? Oh, man, back here. Alright. Fine. Oh, actually, I'm going to do this a little differently. Uh, just so that I have a an anchor point to be able to um, rebuild this properly, like extend this properly later if I need to. So that's actually anchored down and I can attach to it. Because I should have the hinge put on something that actually has connection points, rather than none. Okay, and I've had... I've had, um... Unfortunately, and AI Enabled is a very, very cool mod, but unfortunately, in every situation I've tried to use it, it has caused game crashes. Um... Local hosted servers, the lot, sadly. Um, some people have no issues at all with it, but yeah, I've had a lot. Although Nev said that he's um, sent through the crashes, that, the crash that I had before to JTurp, so there's a chance it might get fixed. Oh yeah, good point. This piping has motors. That might be enough to do what I need to do. Oh, does Sandworm just use the normal... Uh, like, spider AI? That's good. I could... I can at least... I can at least put some ridiculous stuff in. some of it. But uh, yeah, I'll have to look into that for next time. Yep. Acid spitting sandworms. It's gonna be fun. Grind you guys off. Okay, that's enough motors. I just need the iron campaigning, campaigning, containing stuff, and we'll have a drill. Hey, glitch! <laughs> so much for any sort of local wildlife up there with all the machine gun fire. Yeah. drones are up there? Just two now. Is that a crashed agonize over there? That might be. Chat, if you notice that the gunfire has stopped and I haven't noticed, feel free to highlight that to me, because that might be a chance for me to take the detector out there and go and find that nickel. That'd be lovely. Uh, drones do have infinite ammo, yes. Uh, so that is a... Th that is a thing. Oh, just 20 more steel plates. Alright, almost there. Seems like you've gone out of your way to make your life difficult. That is precisely what I've done. Yes. That was, um... Very much the intent of this. I wanted to... I wanted a little bit of reliving of... The moon from Survival Unlikely. Uh, because... 
I haven't had to engage with hostile NPCs in that sort of way in a long, long time. And I really... I, I felt like it was time for me to do it again. But I also knew that I was on my own doing that because I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be the sort of thing that anyone I play with would want to be constantly dealing with. <laughs> so those explosions or something. Thanks, Kitsu! Thank you for 16 months! Uh, the drones, I think, have infinite everything. Infinite power, infinite fuel, infinite ammo. Which is fine. Because despite everything, the drones are still, theoretically, less effective than a person. God, these explosions. Ah! Oh, there are so many drones up there. Here I was thinking earlier, oh, I'll just be able to go out and take out one of those bases. It'll be fine. I'll be able to do this. There'll be no problems. I'll just go clear them out once I clear out the drones above me. You'll see debris effects coming through the ceiling even before I've got any sort of hole up there. Uh, but it is entirely possible that I... that they will break through at some point. stone. Am I full? Has the game crashed again? Okay. I'm going to remove AI enabled. Uh, see if that was the problem. Uh, what is the... Oh, it should show up, actually. Something's not happy up there. And if it caused the original crash, it's probably the way to go. Oh. Hmm. Yay. Should be fine. And then I'll have to quickly remove the options for that call on the robot raider pods from the poles. So we don't get ones that you guys can't actually call upon. Was that books? Yep. So we've got to get rid of kill all humans. And get rid of bots, bots, bots. Okay. See if we get less crashes now. <laughs> Time to oil the squeaky birds. Yes. Oh, so many birds in summer. Has the server tried to tell you it was plain parts yet? <laughs> uh, 
Poor plane parts. Funny thing is, though, <laughs> the number of times plane parts would get removed from a game and it would start working <laughs> was ridiculous <laughs> back in the day. Uh... I will say, my issues with AI-enabled and crew-enabled and such have tended to occur in situations where I'm pushing the limits of other aspects of Space Engineers at the same time. So, it's it's not strictly the mod's fault, you could say. I don't hate my local wildlife. I dislike that they hang out near my window um, while I'm streaming, but I don't hate my local wildlife. All right, we can go, I think, to... Let's go to six and a half meters, I reckon. Thanks, Kegoba. Thank you so much for the, four, uh, the five gift subs, if I can even count. That'll do. Now you go that way. And we set the lower limit to minus 45. Thank you so much. At least it's not koalas. I imagine koalas... I haven't really heard a koala, to be fair. But they're probably similarly awful to the sound that um, uh, possums make. The noise that the possum that hangs around in the trees nearby makes overnight is horrific. Yeah, it's proper death metal vocal stuff. Unknown signal equal drone distraction. Maybe. Uh, it is three kilometers away, though, and they're probably just focused on me. Uh, I'll try and get this assembler up and running, I think. Hopefully with enough stone, I'll get enough nickel to build up these motors and um, metal grids. I can get this thing finished. Reach the limit that way. Let's go the other way. Koalas sound like demons based on the videos I've seen. Yeah. yeah. Those sound more like rockets. Do I do some Kapak cheese and try and grind them down? Although, with how overpowered I made the thrusters, they will probably just slap me out of the sky and murder me. Alright, yeah, just focus on the drill and let's see if we can get some sort of flying craft up and running. I think I'll just keep mining this out and hope that the ceiling lasts long enough. Elion, it is funny you say make a med bay that fires capac phones. One of the things that the script that 
made Capac spawn out of the medbay could do was set the velocity at which they were launched from the medbay when they spawned in so that they wouldn't spawn in inside each other. Um, so you can actually make them into a cannon. Although last time I, te I tested the script, it didn't actually work anymore. I think something's changed that's broken. So there's that. Okay, just need the motors and the metal grids now. Our bolt's almost finished. Put that stone up front. Okay, that didn't sound good. What's the save? Oh yeah, okay. That was a new sound. I don't like a new sound. I don't want to hear new sounds. I want to hear the same sounds. Uh, I didn't give any of these guys rail guns yet. Yet. Being the key part. I do plan to. I wanted to escalate the threat as we need it week to week and I feel like I've reached the appropriate level of threat right now uh, I don't think it needs to be escalated anymore just yet the rail guns shoot through vox voxels uh, the, they're not supposed to but they sometimes do I think Uh, sometimes they completely ignore voxels altogether. Well, I thought that bug was supposed to have been fixed. I haven't tested it properly, but I have had people say they've observed it. Oh, if, if I need to have a ceiling over my equipment because my voxel ceiling is gone, I'm dead. <laughs> and it's a, well, next week I get to start fresh sort of situation. Let's see if I can do better. Because by the time they're shooting at armor, I'm, I'm already dead. I basically have to deal with them before the voxels go. Just okay. I, I like having a bit of time pressure. Nothing like a bit of time pressure to keep you moving. Uh... And yeah, they probably are tracking me, not the base. So, Zero Coolest, the options in the polls that might help me against the drones would be dropping distractions. Rather than dropping more drones. Uh, the clear skies thing just does weather. Uh, which is why I included it in the description thing in... Um... In the, this is how this works part of stuff. Uh, I need to get... Let's get all the stuff out of the basic assembler now. in there for now. 
Weird, they did stop firing. That is very odd. Very odd. Alright, so what I was going to do with the bigger assembler was disassemble... Uh, where are the explosives at? Disassemble the explosives. So I can get some more magnesium. How many explosives do I actually have? 40. There you go. So the, yes, there are poles on a timer, which go every 10 minutes or so. Uh, and then there are poles that you guys can trigger on top of that. So it's in addition to. Okay. So that's as far as that drill's going to be able to go. I think what I want to do is add some drills vertically before I add more pistons to this. Let's retract you. Let's see if we can add an another. Uh, actually, I can probably just grind this drill off. Although it's still full of stone. I'll have to wait a minute. Uh, add a bit more cargo somewhere. Uh, maybe... Maybe I'll add another one in the middle here. Those explosions! Those explosions are very distracting. Oh, uh, yeah. There is a. There are fewer agonizers up there now. I think they may crash into each other at times, which is, you know, I'll take it. Uh, I'm thinking the next, like, the next thing I should probably try and get is a proper refinery as opposed to using the basic refinery. Because then I get even more out of the stone. Uh, the drill should be empty now, though. Yep. Okay, that is definitely a rocket. There's still three drones up there. Still three. Three constantly. Oh, the, the stalactite just confused me and made me think it was broken through. So what I was thinking of doing was just simply this, and then go on top. Since I've got the resources, I can probably put two drills on top. That might be worth doing, so that I just do more on the next pass. <laughs> you give us the option to spawn something like a friendly assert mayfly. Um... Huh. Maybe. Actually. I might be able to spawn in... It wouldn't be friendly, like, it'll be hostile to me, but something that you guys could spawn that would be hostile to them as well? That could be an interesting option. Yeah, I like that idea. So if I'm ever really, really stuck, and you guys are like, well, come on, we should probably help, um, I can give you guys an option to spawn in a helpful... Well, an alternatively evil drone, so that there's... A combat in the skies.
Yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. I'll, uh... I'll think about how I should best make that work for next time. Yeah, the enemy, the enemy of my enemy would be probably the name of that spawn. How are we going? Production. And I can probably set up their targeting priority so that they do try and shoot the drones above me first. Do I go for a third drill? Yeah, why not? I think I've still got enough iron. How much iron do I have? Oh yeah, definitely have enough. steel plates. Yeah, I'll recharge my suit eventually. It's fine. I'm in a high O2 and normal warm environment, so I don't die if I run out of O2. I mean, of power. So there's no big issue. I recharge when I have to rather than more often. Uh, jetpack does not need power, no. It needs hydrogen, but it does not need power. No, I, I like the idea of something that might be able to take out the current drones that are aggressing me, but when it's finished with them, it comes after me. I like the idea of that as a... I feel like it fits better with what I was going for in this series. Uh, yeah, Suit Broadcast does use a bit of power, I think. I've never tested quite how much, though. Yes, and I'll kill you last, Drone. Exactly. I'll save you to last. Alright, cool. It's gonna bear out a bit more space. Okay, so that's some resources. Uh, should probably move this survival kit so that I can actually use it. So let's do that. Energy critical. Let's freak everyone out and do it while I've got low power. Ow, what the energy low. Why did that hurt? Why is it What? Energy low. Um Jeez, that bug is weird. is so weird. Yeah, this is exactly what was happening to Capac in RVs of War. Okay, we should have enough nickel and all that stuff that I can now build batteries, which means I can, because I've also got cobalt, build thrusters. And I should have had that locked.
Push it up. Now, I'm going to do something stupid with this uh, vehicle. I'm not actually going to make it a drone. I'm going to pilot it directly. And the reason is entirely for you guys. So, if I pilot it directly, we'll be able to see when it gets destroyed, rather than if I pilot it as a drone, we'll, we won't see anything when it gets destroyed. So, it, it just, I don't like not being able to see that stuff. Uh, okay, so let's get a second battery. Also put this on recharge so it doesn't end up running out of power. And this one. Uh, Tommaso, that's something that will that only gets broadcast in game. It's not something I'm making public outside of that. Um, there is no damage from lightning, because I despise damage from lightning, so I have the no damage from lightning mod. Okay. A couple of warfare batteries, let's put a cockpit on here. Type of cockpit. Fighter, industrial, helm, cab, regular. Let's do a helm, because that'll be fun. What the? <sighs> it's keep switching types on me. Uh, Lord of the Kirby, I've never played Terraria. Um, so I don't have any particular comments on it. Okay, helm. Now we need some thrusters. So I'm thinking if we use some of these ones, one on each side, the guns they have stopped, no they haven't, they have, they haven't, they have, I think they have. Oh, the drills have stopped. That's also the case. Alright, let's extend this piston a bit. Oh, nope. Dum, 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 dum. The, the drums are back. Let's go. Uh, 
burn off the thrusters because they'll go wild when they turn on. Oh yeah, they could have been distracted by the drop, that's true. across and seeing the drills and the stone falling from them and thinking something's coming through this, the roof. Uh, bearded one, much like last time, I needed to drill out some stone, so I'm just drilling to get resources. No other reason. was either that or not achieve anything today, so it seems the better option. Forward thrust. Uh, probably need to do the same at the front here. Fast thrust. Here for side thrust. Actually, let's use the little ones for side thrust. Yeah, so uh, this could work. take to affect the game and how long does it take um here are all the gunfire that's from the pulse yeah <laughs> indeed vox uh, that is a good way to put it okay as soon as i get this thing up i'm flying up there and i'm gonna try and shoot some stuff down i'm going to build a bunch of gatling guns on the front of this and just try and shoot shoot down a few things hopefully i can shoot down a couple of the drones and clear the skies for a bit So that's fine. And they finished that pass. Let's extend it out again. where I wanted to go. You extended? Yes. Come on, give me the stuff. I want to build this thing. built and get the other side built and then it's guns time guns and maybe maybe a little bit of armor but i think i'm mainly going to be uh protected by mobility not by armor 
Oh no! Ah, <laughs> oh. I really hope that gets shot. <laughs> uh. Why? Why? I mean, it's arguably less bad than the fun music. I have no idea how it'd look upstairs. Uh, I probably need to get rid of some of this gravel. It's gonna start clogging things up soon. Uh, so my many motors needed for the thrusters. No, 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 the assembler's not running full-time because it doesn't have enough nickel to run. Um, I think I do have enough battery power, or enough power, with these two turbines. It's 265 and 190. I think I've got enough. Well, we're going to be hearing Capac for a while, I think. Oh, I'm so glad I captured that sound bite. Depending on my mood, I may add others. <laughs> he sounds like he's getting closer. There's just two fidgets up there. Okay. I might actually go and check out some of these drops you guys have put out there. See if I can get anything useful. Like a warhead. Okay. Unfortunately, the first one I found was the Capac one, but... Uh, it is good to get some more magnesium. And apparently the drones are not targeting me, they are targeting something else. Energy low. Uh, this one apparently has been shot up. What it had in in the cargo container. Ah, oh, plushies. Nice. That cargo container. Uh, any others out here? Yep, there's another one over this way. Oh, that's what they've done to the surface so far. I think that was directed at me. Maybe. Oh! It's the gyro one. Well, the drones can have that one. I got me a few motors anyway. Hey, Beaky. Uh, type exclamation SE Twitch to find out how the Twitch integration works. 
or how I've set it up. Anyway. No space. Uh, Alright, need lateral thrusters on this side. One thruster for lateral should be enough. Like the equivalent of one proper atmo thruster. Hopefully we'll man manage to do the trick. Energy critical. The drones haven't learnt that the ground isn't bulletproof that the ground is bulletproof but they also have rockets at times and they the ground is not rocket proof turn these off now <laughs> try carrying off the survival kit and see if they go away uh, I can say for certain that will not happen should add a battery to my base though anyway even though I said before I don't strictly need one I should add one even though it's not needed because having a battery is smart it would have a benefit anyway uh, where would I add a battery I suppose it can just go on top of the I'm not sure what just exploded then shop, shop battery here We'll deal with making the parts for that later, though. Oh, yeah, I should turn off all these other thrusters, shouldn't I? They're probably chewing through power, too. Trying to do stuff. I don't want them to do stuff. Uh, it's an offering emotional support signal that's very close. It's just 160 meters away. found that nickel. I'm pretty sure I know where the nickel is, but I just can't get to the location. And all this stuff would have been so much easier to build. Okay. We have left thrust. We have right thrust. We have forward thrust. We have reverse thrust. And we have lifting thrust. Now we need guns. We also have gyros. That's important too. Guns, 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 all of the guns. Uh, this one. I think we first. Oh, there's just one drone up there now. Which is flying away? <gasps> there are no drones! There are no drones! Time to go! Time to go! Time to go! Drive, 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 drive! Whoa! Okay, maybe a little less excitement with the driving. Less. Go out this way, because I think this is the closest way. And see if I can find that nickel. <laughs> Third time's the charm on this little scouting mission, hopefully. Great. 
Got two minutes until the pole is up. Try and get there and find the nickel. At least I've almost got my little, uh, my little fighter built. Oh, I'm gonna have to scan again. It's annoying. The server's restarted since I did the scan. Yeah. Over this way. I think it was somewhere along this ridge line, but I will scan again shortly. I just want to get kind of closer. See if I... Whoa! Invisi tree. Okay. Scan here. Nickel. Right, I think it's this one in front of me. I'm going to hope it is that. Um, unlock. Correct. Over this way. Please show me nickel. No, there's drone inbound. <sighs> At least it's 4Ks out. I might have... What the... Okay. Am I over the deposit? I'm over the deposit. I can see iron. Is there anything else here? I'm going to mark that, and I have to get out of here, because that thing is just 2Ks away now. Oh, 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 oh. Distraction. Distraction pod. That entrance. That one is closer. Okay, at least I've marked. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! I've lost power. Okay, the rover's down. Where'd the detector go? Has it got any detector components? No. Nope. Oh, I've lost power. Salvage what I can. Oh. Well, I got a couple of hits. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to come back and grab this. Have I got anything on board? I need... <laughs> Did I pass Nickel? Did someone actually spot Nickel? Oh, that's going to be annoying. Alright, let's go to one of my entrances. Uh, because it's unpowered, the drones should ignore my wreck. And target things that have power instead. Uh. 
Alright. Let's get guns. Uh, the small detector may, may, but probably won't, have adequate range for me. Uh, but I think I will put a small detector on this little ship anyway, because, you know, I'm flying around. It's got a better chance of getting to these places quickly. And if they're, and if it is close enough to the surface, I'll detect it. thinking. i just chuck a cup. Uh, chuck these in here. Connect them up. That'll give me a little bit of extra ammo capacity. There are three drones back already. I've got to deal with those bases. Which this thing should make easier. Because I can outrange the interior turrets that are on those bases. As long as I don't get hit by a drone while I'm doing it. <laughs> Which is entirely possible. I have two gyros on this. I remembered twice as much. Okay. Thrust in all directions. Cannons, and we need a camera. Getting ridiculous. This thing is not going to last long, but hopefully it'll at least work a bit. Now, ammo. Yeah. Give me all the ammo. Charge on. Back on auto. Thrust is on. Okay. <laughs> 1,820 rounds. Don't think I'm going to get to use them all up before I get shut down, but who knows? want a bit of speed doing this. Zoom, 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 zoom! Okay, fucking target. 
Oh, target has clearly locked me. Oh, okay. Ow, what? What thruster just did damage to what? Uh oh. Where have I taken damage? Huh? Maybe I got shot. I don't know. Uh. That drone is very clearly going after me. Ow! Wow, that was instant. <laughs> Give me that ammo back! Your health oh, is okay, low. that didn't work. <laughs> that, that did not work at all. Okay, helms, not good cockpits. Also, these drones have a lot more accuracy than the ACS drones do. Uh, probably because of their extra powerful thrust. Where's my body? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything left of that wreck. Fuel critical. Oh, you're kidding me. My bottle was empty too. I've got no hydrogen. <laughs> yeah, I figured it didn't need a connector for precisely this reason. I was not expecting it to survive very long. But I wasn't expecting to die that quickly. I thought I'd at least get some shots off. But no. Uh. Ow. Uh. Ow. Uh. I'm not even hearing the gunfire. I was just taking damage. Okay. And yes, a connector is a, something a vehicle has to earn. Uh, those of you might recall from that from last time. Where's my buddy? Okay, so lessons learned from this are uh, I'm probably better with a wheeled vehicle. Especially when there are that many drones around. Or something that's, you know, built to last. If I'm going to build a fighter, I need to build a proper fighter. So what I'm thinking I might do is use this bed have an idea of how I can Fuel use it in a low. different sort of way. So, if I can drop some sort of turret, like if I can drop a large grid turret down, or I can carry one out there, that might be useful. Uh, what was I doing? Just refilling my hydrogen bottle. That's what I was doing. Yeah, return of the sandbags, exactly. Exactly. Although I think a static turret is probably going to get shot up really quickly. Thanks for the prime sub, CPC Silver. And thank you, Mavalite, for tier 2 for 29 months. Four drones. Like, I think... One drone at a time, I could probably get turrets up there to, like, static turrets that could handle them. Especially if I've got repair facilities for the turrets. But I'm not there. 
Yeah, something a bit more expensive like the Canary could probably take these guys out. But I did make these extra evil because they have turrets. They're not just fixed weapons, and that's why they're so much more accurate than the ones with just fixed weapons. Build a fighter with multiple Gatling turrets on it. Yeah, that could be an option. Then I just have to dodge. I don't have to worry about trying to shoot. Go the TFE approach. That could work. I'll get this battery built and then have a think about how we might do that. It's like having a co-pilot. <laughs> so for those of you wondering why I didn't try and shoot back, I was trying to be in a position where I might have actually been able to hit. And I, by the time I was able to hit, I got shot. Uh, I was never going to hit anything before then, realistically. Okay, we got a battery on the base. Let's get a little bit of steel plate made. I'm trying to avoid hydromanning. Hydromanning gets a bit lame when you do it a bit much. I'm trying to avoid doing that. pair of batteries. I want to make sure I've got enough room for a few turrets on this. I probably... Probably want to go with turrets mainly underneath. So I can keep above them, perhaps. We got a conveyor converter on there, and a conveyor converter on there. I've probably not left enough room for me to place these turrets, have I? Might need to build this higher. Yeah. Let's get a bit more elevation. So, as explained earlier, the reason I'm not remote controlling the drone, the, the, these fighters, is just because you guys get to see more. And it, it's as simple as that. It's much better from a, um, what we get to see, like, both uh, me as well, um, what we get to see when fighting if I'm actually in the vehicle. Yeah, Takari, that completely does not work when you're live streaming. Having a separate PC that can't, <laughs> that can't get uh, put into OBS live uh, is not going to help. I'll uh, put a defense block on this. Uh, yeah, I guess so.
Doesn't do any harm anyway. At any rate. Okay. I'm do something a little bit similar to what I did before, but similar but different. Uh, leave a bit of armor on the side of these for placing the thrusters. I'm going to make something that looks a bit like a quadcopter. Just because I've never built something like this before. As I haven't really played much survival in Atmo since we had the Flatmos. So I figure it's a bit of fun. Giant fly swatter. Well, I was considering building something really cheap that I just ram into these things, but they move so quickly, I don't think I'm going to be able to successfully hit any of them. Unfortunately. Uh, and yes, a proper cockpit this time. There will be a proper cockpit. <laughs> don't know why I'm trying to place a turret when I'm talking about cockpits, but yeah. We will go with the fighter cockpit because it is heavy. Relatively heavily armed. Armored. So one of the things I was thinking about after the stream last week was... Sadly, Twitch does not give me the stats I would need to be able to see how many points you guys use to try and get particular outcomes on these things during one stream. Fly paper using mag plates. I wish I could figure out a way to get something like that to work more reliably. The trouble is you do need to either get very lucky or approach at a very slow speed in order to actually lock without just destroying your landing gear. As proven by everything can. drones up there. I can't believe how close I was to getting to that nickel. I need to take out those bases out there. I think more than anything else I need to take those bases out because that will reduce the spawns dramatically because then it'll just be whatever you guys call in. <laughs> too much up, more building, I think. Basic refinery has worked through all of the iron. So many la landing gears on hinges, so it works like a net. I mean, I suppose you could probably overwhelm the physics system by having that many subgrids that colliding at any speed will not cause collision damage because of things not counting as collisions, and I've run out of materials. Okay, uh, time for drill upgrade. Which will probably require me grinding down these turrets and 
rebuilding them, but that's fine. Although I'm not reacting to it, the constant Inventory drum full. beats of gunfire is having an impact on me. <laughs> that constant sound is rather disturbing. Yeah, it's psychological warfare. No, it, it's psychological warfare if you guys manage to get the... Um, the whatchamacallit. Wait, am I carrying light steel tubes? The fun music. That's psychological warfare. Energy low. Still four, still, okay, three, three drones are up there. That's better. There's a part of me that wants to go out there and try and recover my rover. Take a little battery out there and try and flip it. motors it means I just need iron containing stuff which I hopefully have enough iron for and then we can start working on this next bit of drilling um an hour while I'm waiting is coming in. Can't even see it. Whatever you guys called in. I wonder if the drone shot it down. Oh wait. They did. Jerks. The jerks. So, I forgot. I actually had crew enabled on this save as well. I don't know whether it or AI enabled or what was causing the problem, but I'll I'll try next week to I'll try to find some time during the week to test with just the robot raider pods. Um, although I can't really test, I'll probably just do it at the start of next stream. Um, have the robot raider pods, but no crew enabled, and see if the server still crashes. Because it's been running perfectly well since I got rid of those. Lucky dip is what it sounds like. It is random. It just spawns a drone encounter, which all of the different things are classed as drone encounters.
dig deep. Find a Balrog. Resources coming in. New fighter being built. I might have a small chance of some success. Maybe. Uh, with that many drills, will I fill up faster than the refinery? Yes. 100%. Definitely. No question. Thanks, Boiler Snake. Thank you for the prime sub. Uh, I don't... I, uh, I mean, maybe I am waiting on resources sometimes. That's true. I do feel like if I'm going to go for more refinery, though, I should probably just go for a big one. They're filling up. How close is it to the end of its run? Not very close at all. Stop that there. Uh, I'm not. I'm. <laughs> I am not going to bother set up setting up some sort of mining script at this stage because I don't really want to live off stone. I want to go out there and get proper ores, because that's where the fun is. I feel like I'm being forced to do this at this stage. With no alternative. Because what I'd also like to do is not live off wind turbines, but instead live off ice. And hydrogen power. And do things that way, but no. <laughs> Again, the drones are forcing my hand. Yeah, there is a there is a decent amount of ice just outside my door, that is true. But just outside my door is a whole lot of death. Uh, yes, this fighter will 100% fit through the gates. It is definitely narrower than the chomper. Because the chomper is what I use to measure up how wide I should make these tunnels. See if I can get to that or try and stoop. Uh, oh, it's got the thruster on board. I want the thruster. Give me the thruster. No! Stop spinning. Ow! 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 Holy cow! Okay. That's. No. Not nice. Ow. Much ow. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not sure two turrets on a fighter is going to be anywhere near enough. Oh. 
Yeah, maybe more guns required. Though, if these two can remain shooting while I'm moving and I can stop myself from getting hit, then they should be enough. Uh, yeah, right now I am feeling a bit like a cockroach. Not sure I like the comparison, but it's probably yeah. Uh, most of the drones do have their turrets facing downwards, so if I get more altitude than them, I should have an advantage. At least until they flip around and shoot me anyway. Uh, some... Maybe, I may have made one or two of them that have turrets on top as well. So I'm pretty much waiting on Nickel. So yeah, having having some extra even an extra basic refinery probably would speed things up a bit. But How's my magnesium holding up? Not great. Not great. I got 29. Um, I unfortunately lost a lot of ammo with that last run. Right, I might stop making what I'm doing right now. And make that other refinery. Because having a bit another refinery will get me my resources a bit quicker. I don't have any magnesium. No, I haven't found magnesium yet either. I was finding nickel first so that I could build motors and things. Um, haven't found magnesium yet. Because all the things that I found last week have moved because I changed the ore distribution to make it a bit more... Uh, require a bit more surface travel in order to find the, to find the resources and collect them and stuff. Speed things up a bit. In other words, I proved even more so how much of a masochist I can be. Okay. There's something coming in. Let's see if I can get this one. Oh, I should get health back before I go out there. Uh, honestly, Madwork, no, I'm not sure I can. Um, it's already dead. Seriously? Drone's already killed it. Ow. Ow. See how quickly they move? That's effectively the anti-hydro man that I put in place. Fuel low. Uh oh, I'm dead. Fuel critical. <laughs> uh. Uh, 
Uh, Blue Squid, no. Currently, the Twitch integration is not public. Uh, Nev is still working on it. And it is not a workshop type thing. It is a plug-in for Torch. Dragged on you, madman! Thank you for the 20 gift subs. Which of my bodies is it? This one. Give me my stuff back. Ah! Oh, I was so close. I feel like that. Yeah. Yeah. Speed. I am speed. <sighs> okay. How's the... Alright, there's another one coming in. Let's see if we can get that one. Oh wait, no, I need more hydrogen. Pull up the bottle first. Let's see if it survives until I've filled that up. Oh, it's still out there. Taking some shots. Let's try and get some of the goodies before it dies. <laughs> Ow! Oh, this is the that one. Ow. Okay. Drop it. Thank you very much, Dragon. Um, okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it here today for my stream because I need to drive four odd hours to a, uh, where I need to get to for a friend's wedding, uh, which is tomorrow. Um, but I will be back on Monday as usual. Because of Ark crashing, I reckon Shadow and I are going to go back for some more RVs at War since we've now got a plan on how to make it interesting and how to have some fun with it, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, followed by more Icarus with Capac and TFE as the usual Monday shenanigans go. And then over the weekend, there'll be more of Terraformers on Sunday. But yeah, I'll be back with more of this next week at the same time. There's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye.